Alright, now I can finally do my intro that I'm not being killed by some sort of zombie. Alright guys, it's Sombert here. I'm doing a Let's Play series on my realm, Eclipse Network, SMP that is. And we're just going to be kind of, in this episode today, I'm going to be journeying because I really want to find a snow biome. I was going to record me getting all these basics, but no one wants me to watch me like die a million times to creepers. Or maybe you do, depending on what type of person you are, but personally, I don't want to record that type of content. So, I'm just gonna, I kind of just cut out me getting wood. I just found a shield, I got some, I got a little bit of coal and stuff, but we'll be, keep on going. This terrain is absolutely brutal. If I can just get up onto these trees. Ooh. And I am playing on a realm, so there is other activity on the server. It's not a raiding realm, it's friendly survival, but so when I find someone's base, I'm not going to steal any of their stuff. But I see some sort of... Oh, sugar cane. I'm going to need some of that. Curious what this is. Ooh, if this is some sort of road, that will help me out a ton. And that's a uh... no. Thank you. I don't think this is a road. I just think this is a. This is some kind of town. Don't jump over me like that. I can't see. Interesting. What do we have here? hurt this village here. Free stuff, okay. If you're saying it's free, man. I do, I love Chroma Hills, but I do not like villagers or mobs of any kind. That is just weird on so many levels. Like, I don't care who you are. That is weird. This is some sort of town, but it is Junky. I feel like someone's gonna watch this and they're like, hey, that was my town. Okay, man, I'm not stealing your stuff. I'm just gonna take a few of your torches. Oh, take a pumpkin seed for sure. And a spruce sapling. Alright, we're going to keep on our... <sighs> I definitely need to get some upgraded tools. They got some sort of crops or anything of the sort. That's a monster pit if I've ever seen one. Interesting. Might as well do the proper thing and sit on my chair and eat my food. 
All right, very delicious. All right, some sort of table, and I have enough wool for a bed now, so kind of current survive plant is I want to find a snow biome. If you're wondering why, I really like snow golems are cheap and easy to make, and since I do record, and I'm a YouTuber, and I show my cords, I have a feeling I like getting some visits from some possibly not so friendly people when I actually start setting down and start making my base. So I'm hoping if I have an army of snow golems to aid me if I'm attacked. I don't know if they do that. Will they protect their master? I think they will, if they're like iron golems. Oh, village, place I can actually plunder. I'm going to grab that bell right there. Ooh. No way. That stupid cat keeps on scaring me. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... I'm just gonna start chucking some of this stuff that I don't need. So what I hope to do, these books will come in very handy. These books will be very handy when I make myself a chanting table. All right, let's get rid of the Potatoes, carrots, we got wheat, we got beetroots, life is good. Alright, let's... Ooh, poisonous potato, I'm gonna leave that behind. We want both of our cords to be going up. At least one of them. Oh, if there's a brewing stand in here still... No, I doubt there would have been a brewing stand. Anyone that comes to this village is going to steal that brewing stand. Guaranteed. Now. There we are. I'm surprised there were so many crops left behind. I need to pay attention to my cords here also. Alright, our first 1,000. I guess that's some form of a milestone. But I'm nowhere clear. Who knows? There might be a snow biome the next... Hmm. I could go on top of a mountain. If I find a mountainous region that's pretty big, I might actually do that. I do apologize, this is going to be kind of a boring episode. Probably just going to name this the start of the journey, because this is, I want to get to my home first. And 90% of you are probably going to skip, like, watch watching me blab. I'm no mumbo-jumbo with some nice British accent, so you're not going to sit here and watch me for 20 minutes, wander around the wilderness, muttering to myself, so... Feel free to skip this episode, but my next episode should be a bit more interesting, because I plan to find Snow Biome today, and do we have another village already? You're probably thinking I should bunk down maybe the village, steal some villagers, ship them off, but I don't know how far I have to go to find said Snow Biome. 
Also, I've always liked using zombie villagers. I just something about it's like. Also, villagers are utter maniacs when it comes to their intelligence levels, and don't feel like pushing a villager in a wooden boat for ever. Get some hay bales. Craft those again. I gotta start eating my raw food now. I do hope there's a snow biome nearby. Ooh. You know what? There's snow on top of this mountain. You know, this might work. It's right by a village. If there's even a single villager left alive, that could work for me. Ooh, we got a spruce. Spruce or taiga biome right here. That could be good news. Alright, let's see if we get food poisoning. Hey, no food poisoning from raw chicken. They should rename hunger to food poisoning. Rock pork chops amazingly have... Ah! Keep on messing up my FOV there. I think we've reached a snow biome. Let's see here. These spruce... Definitely spruce, not taiga. They're not big. We don't see any podzool anywhere. Let's see if that's actually snow or that's just because they're on the top of the mountain. I definitely want to pick up as many much of this coal. The reason I want bamboo or kelp is I can make that as a fuel source. Because I don't want to have to spend a couple hours mining just so I can have enough coal to make my stone bricks necessary to start building my civilization in the snow. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see what we got going on here. Is this a snow biome? Oh, I'm feeling hopeful about this. I don't know. Snowy mountain, certainly. Do we got a snow biome? This isn't gonna work. Hopefully, if we keep on going this way, though, we'll get some cold... I don't want cold altitudes. I want cold... I want snow or snow. That's what I want, actually, if you know that you mention it. Yeah, that's not going to work. Now, Mr. Spider, it's the middle of the day. Now, this might be a bit more promising. Alright, chickens are the exception to the rule that all the mobs on Chroma look bad. Okay, if that's not where I'm building my base, I don't know where you would build a base. That is amazing. I've never seen... Okay, world generation in Bedrock is absolutely terrible, and that looks like something... Like, look look at my frame. You got floating... Over here, you already got floating junk. Over here, you've got a million just gravel mountains. That looks amplified, and I'm building my base on there. So we got snow, we got plenty of coal, so I don't even have to worry about bamboo or kelp. To be honest, I'm probably going to kill myself once I set my respawn point, because... 
Oh, please don't be a drowned. Looking at these cords. If I die right now, I'd probably bolt over here. Ah! That looks like a good place to get diamonds. Or lava. I can't be bothered. I'm starving to death, and it's gonna get nighttime soon. All right, we're going to ascend the cliff. All right, guys, this seems like a good place to stop. As I said, I would. We are at our location that we wished to find, and this seems like the perfect place to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and catch me in the next episode.